Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another video, and today I've got this Nano Leaf light panel system. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, it's what a bunch of tech YouTubers have, and I guess I have one too. I got this as a birthday gift for my girlfriend. What I want to do with this is unbox it and set it up, and then set it up on this wall here, because this is kind of the center area of our office. There's this side of our office, and this side of our office, uh, and then we've got sound panels. It's really plain over here, so I figured we could put some lights here to help spruce it up. That way when I'm shooting here, we've got kind of background with lighting or when I stream from my computer, it'll kind of have it in the background here. Let's get to starting off with unboxing and setting this thing up. So right now I'm just gonna unbox this on the floor. It'll make it easier because there's more space on the floor than there is just all over each of the table. So I'm just gonna take that out of the way, open this up, Nano Leaf, smarter by design. Open it up, instruction manual with the setup video. And we have all of these panels here, which also includes a power supply, the central unit, more power cables, these little things which connect each of the little pieces together and tell them what to do. Panel itself, we've got a bunch of poster sticks here. I guess this is what we're gonna be using to stick them onto the wall. This is just a nano leaf sticker here. All right, let's get to the instructions. So before we begin setting up anything, they want us to actually test out all the light panels to make sure that they work first before we start mounting anything, which I think is pretty fair. What I assume is these little chips here will go into here, and this is what tells the device what to do. And it just kind of snaps in there. And then I just repeat this for all of them and create a design. Another one that in there. It just kind of snaps in there. Let's get to uh, setting this up in a temporary spot and then just kind of test them all. We got the power cable plugged in, and immediately it turns on to this bright panel over here. And so, so far, I think there's this the power button, and this is another button here. But uh, let me get to pairing it. That is really bright, but let me get to pairing it so that way uh, it can actually pair to my phone and I can set up the colors and display however I would like. But at least we know that the lights are working now. And it was as simple as literally just connecting all the pieces together and then plugging it in with the three cables. So there's the base unit, which plugs into a middle unit. Oh, okay, all right. The lights just did something interesting. And then that'll plug into this power supply, which plugs into the outlet. So far, it works. And now I just have to get it from here onto here, the wall. So now that I have all of this tested out and set up, but I have a set on the app because I downloaded it and it'll ask uh, to sign in with something. So I'm gonna sign in with Google and Let's see, add device, light panels. Pretty simple to set up. I just have to make sure I'm on the right connection, make sure everything's all set, and click start pairing. And then only while using the device. Now it's searching. I think this is it. It's the only one here. Select my Wi Fi network, hit next, and then my Wi Fi password, connect. Oh, okay. Whoa, it's flashing green now, which means it should be working. And now pairing code. And then we have to submit a pairing code, but luckily, I have the pairing code on here, which it says right here, save your pairing code. So I enter that in, and as I automatically enter it, it'll just find out the code, and what do I want to name the device? So I'm gonna name it SD Nano Leaf. Proper scene, yeah, that looks about right. Configure your device, yeah, because it's set up exactly like this. It's only a temporary setup for now, though. Now it's set up and ready to go. Perfect. And then there's tutorials and everything, if I want to, oh. Okay, so I can do different colors, different rhythms. I'll do this in a moment after I get it set up on the wall, but for now, that looks pretty cool. It's really bright. Don't know if you can see it, but let me adjust the ISO on the camera so you can kind of see it a little bit more. All right, now that I have my design mainly set up, it's time to start the uh, process of sticking them onto the wall. I got myself a bubble level to start off the first one. It doesn't have to be exactly center between this desk here or between this shelf unit, but that's because I can always move the shelf unit just a little bit over and cheat it. Here goes the first one. That's one. <laughs> After making sure the first panel is leveled and securely on the wall, I then begin working on the next panels. Making sure to add the 3M sticks on the back of each panel and adding the connector pieces between each of the panels. 
The best part is not having to worry about damaging the walls with nails or hangers, but instead using the poster sticks to mount the panel on the wall. They're also light enough to where I only have to use two sticks for each panel and it stays secure on the wall. So far, this is our entire setup here. I kind of made a crown because I wanted it to be tall but also wide for the frame. All I have to do now is insert the power supply and then just program it to what I need it to be. After plugging in the hub unit, it's now just a matter of organizing the cables behind my drawers and boom, there you have it. So this is the final setup of it. I've got it all sorted out now and I can just change it to whatever colors I want. So let's say I wanted to do flames. I could do flames or inner piece. Takes a second to change. There we go, inner piece. Northern lights, which is the default for it. Or anything romantic. Ooh. Or snowfall. So yeah, there's a variety of different things or I can just do basic different colors, warm white, a reading light, daylight. I know it's kind of hard to see in this light because it's super bright, but other than that, I think it's really cool, but the only downside is to get it to work with music is you have to download an attachment for it, which is fine. This is a starter, but you can also just change whatever colors you want manually. So let's say I want to be all purple or all blue. I could do that, or I can just change different color temperatures on white or anything I want. Also, I realized that you can do hex codes on here. So you could do you could do that hex code. Boom, there, there's a hex code, random hex code. It's really cool, you can do a lot with this. It took me about 30 minutes to an hour, maybe an hour and a half to get all of this done, but I got it the way that I wanted it to be set up. It wasn't very difficult at all. It was super easy to set up, not too much on the app side, not too much on the physical act of putting it on. So you'll be seeing a lot more of these panels in the background of my videos. Hopefully you guys like them. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for following along.